Welcome into the Rowdy Studio. We're talking Red Bull. Well, yeah, because Jenna Fryer of yes. the Associated Press broke a story saying Red Bull is done. Well, I, They're gone. It makes sense because we've been sitting here for weeks going, boy, Red Bull, they need at least one driver for next year, and they might need two drivers for next year if Brian Vickers is. <laughs> and now it turns out they, they don't need, need any drivers. drivers. Because her report is that Red Bull officials came to Michigan to tell NASCAR that they would not be back in 2012 as a Sprint Cup team, as a NASCAR team. I don't know. Are they going to stay in the trucks? I don't know. I don't think so. Why no, would they're you? they're gone. Yeah. Why would you? I mean, here's the question I have. If you're Red Bull, you don't want to own your own team, would you consider just sponsoring a car and do away with all the infrastructure? No, and here's I why. Mean, this is they have a, they, they have their method of doing things, which is to all own, the, all own the whole shooting match. Right, plus... They're used to winning. They're used to winning Formula One championships. Well, maybe this NASCAR they're thing used ain't to quite winning. So easy. They're used to winning Grand Prix races. They're used to winning, then and, and they just aren't doing it. <laughs> and they're just not doing it in NASCAR. They don't want to stick around to be also Rams. Well, maybe they need to work harder. I just don't understand. If you come to the sport, you think it'd be successful in three years like this? I mean, you look at Joe Gibbs. Joe Gibbs racing, multiple championships, a couple with Tony Stewart, got one with Bobby Labonte. When he first came in, it was tough sledding. And it took a while to get there. So maybe they've just realized or figured that this, as far as marketing goes, this isn't working for them. That, I think, is well, the right, bigger question and the more important question, which is I'm not giving up because I haven't succeeded. I'm not giving up because I don't foresee success leading to me achieving my marketing goal. Well, as Jenna points out in her article, their core demographic is the 18 to 34-year-old male, which is the demographic that NASCAR lacks, right? They, they continuously struggle to try to capture that demographic. So I think, yeah, in terms of their market, the marketing aspects of the sport, which is basically why Red Bull is in it. Right, which is why any sponsor is in it. They're, they're missing the boat. And and the timing is perfect. Well, what would they do next the timing year? Timing is perfectly Cole, awful. Cole Witt and Kimi Raikkonen or Matthias Ekstrom. Well, I you're going to struggle for another couple of years doing that. At least. And if they're not going to re-sign Brian Vickers, let him know now so that if Carl Edwards doesn't get in the 20, Brian Vickers can get in the 20. Oh, you think that's what's going to happen? Yeah. I think the thing that we have to say is this is bad. I mean, this is bad. It's for bad. whom? For whom? It's bad for fans. It's bad for drivers. It's bad for crew members. It's bad for ev everyone who cares about NASCAR. I like Red Bull's presence in the sport. I, I do think too. they get. I mean, because they cause let's face had it. good runs. It's but, not like they couldn't. They've won a race. They've made the chase once. It's been tough with Brian Vickers' problems, and I think they pulled the trigger too quick on letting AJ go and letting Scott Speed go. I, I think maybe they've made some mistakes you, along the way, don't we all? You kind of get the impression that they were looking to hit the home run their first time up at bat, and they didn't, and they don't necessarily want to be in this sport for the long haul if they're not going to have success more quickly. See, I, I think it has less to do with performance and more to do with business objectives. Well, I think, yeah, they're two and the same, though, aren't they? To well, a no, extent? I mean, I think if you thought, look, in three years, I can be running up at the front, winning races and contending for a championship. I think the problem comes in when you say, well, what if I got there? What if I got to that place in three years, in four years? Would it matter? Or could I spend my money better elsewhere? That's the thing that I find troubling. I'm going to miss Red Bull. I think with NASCAR, in its tendency to be overly buttoned down and corporate and jingoistic, I think Red Bull brings a little bit of balance to that, and I'm going to miss that balance. Um, but, you know... I what guess. are you going to do if this is true? Now, this is just a story. It's Jennifer Fryer. It's Fryer's. sourced pretty well from the Associated Press and Jennifer Fryer, so you got to believe it's probably true. Not confirmed as of this moment. But it should probably be confirmed fairly soon since it's now out there. You would think, well, if it's out there, they're not going to wait right. too Either terribly long. Right, confirm it or deny it. Or it because now right. their employees are starting to start asking questions. Oh, I would think so. Yes, yes. yes. Anyway, thanks for watching. That has been uh, our discussion of the Red Bull Racing News. We'll keep the story rolling as we get more information we'll come back to the table rowdy.com say it like it is say what like it is rowdy.com